Well, there's a large field of candidates running to replace outgoing Ward 12, Hamilton City Councilor Lloyd Ferguson. Ten people want the job of representing Ancaster on the next City Council. Matt Ingram spoke to them all. Joins us live with more. Phil, it is a very large list of candidates looking to replace Ferguson. All of them telling me they're hearing those similar things at the doors in Ancaster. Concerns about taxation and transit and most if not all the candidates are running on platforms that aims to tackle both of those issues. One man stopping a train is not an easy job, but it's not like it hasn't been done before. Invoking the spirit of Superman, realtor Richard Deverson is running for council to stop the LRT. I think every candidate in every ward should be asked that question. What is your position on the LRT? And if they say I'm pro LRT, in my opinion, they should be disqualified. Transit is the top issue for Pamela Mitchell, too, who also ran in the 2014 and 2018 elections. She wants to stop the LRT, switch the city's discount taxi fare program from paper to a reloadable card, and increase bus service to Hamilton's rural areas. On Sunday, there's no bus out here. It's a no-brainer. We need more buses out here. At peak times, we need the buses running. Don't forget to vote! Several Ward 12 candidates say high taxes and getting better value for tax dollars is the top issue they are hearing at the door. Rotary Club of Ancaster President Carl Hanley says he wants to use his years of business experience and community engagement to help. Looking at inflation and how the economy is at the moment, seniors in the community, everyone in the community are struggling to, uh, to meet the demands and looking at facing higher increases in property taxes is a challenge for everybody. William Robert Hume spent eight years on Flamborough Town Council before amalgamation and says he will bring that experience to work on taxation concerns. He also wants to preserve the historic charm of Ancaster Village, similar to what has been done in downtown Niagara-on-the-Lake. You wouldn't put a great big high-rise at Niagara-on-the-Lake, and I'm not against development totally. I just want it properly. Bob Matten is also passionate about preserving Ancaster. He's the president of the Ancaster Village Heritage Community and wants to continue that work on council as well as tackle taxation concerns. We uh, are faced with what the city is proposing as a 14% rise in taxes. That's for uh, property taxes and uh, combined with uh, sewage and water rates and uh, we need to battle that. Craig Kassar says he's hearing the same concerns about taxes and transit but also says Hamilton's largest long-term problem is climate change and says his decades in the business world has prepared him to deal with that challenge. The Community Energy and Emissions Plan is something that Hamilton is already working on. We need to make sure that it's implemented in a way that we transition from carbon emissions to carbon-free emissions uh, as quickly as possible. Advertising sales professional Cindy Kay says road safety would be a priority for her if elected. Calling herself the gal next door, she wants to bring more female voices to council. Historically, uh, this ward has been represented by males, so it'd be great to bring some gender diversity to uh, Ward 12 and the uh, city council table. Rob Babbitt is running on his experience as a corporate executive, saying the city is facing a lot of problems, but one of the biggest is within City Hall itself. The big one that keeps coming up is transparency. People want to know where their tax dollars are going, and it's been, it's been in the news, right? And I think what we have to look at is we have to review our in-camera protocols. Chuck Alkerton is running on his experience too, 36 years working for the city, including as a facility manager. He says his experience will give him the edge as a counselor. I'd be able to hit the ground running. I worked with uh, union staff, non-union staff, uh, senior management, uh, counselors, uh, the mayor's office, uh, provincial and federal government. Meg Marquettos is also running in Ward 12, but was unable to participate today due to a work commitment. Voters head to the polls on October 24th to choose our next municipal government.